Okay, so now we've done all the uh, validation rules. Basically finished everything there. All these were validation rules. And now we're going to build the relationship table. That's quite easy. Shall I, we do it? We go to... Let's go back to the normal view. We go over here. And we're going to go to database tools. Click on relationships. Can you see the database tools? Click on relationships. Hold down the shift key so that you highlight both of them. And you add your tables. Close this make these bigger so you can see all the columns in each table and the clue to this is can you see the jx cars car id jx customer customer id is there a car id in this column no is there a customer id in this column yes right at the bottom so it's quite easy you click on this you Drag it across to there. That's all you have to do. And this comes up. When this comes up, you take a screenshot. Go into your evidence and put your screenshot in there. And there's your relationship. Click on there. You know what to do. Make sure the dude that's marking it sees that. Click on there, make it bigger. What they want to know is that shapes is a uh, one too many. Okay, one too many. They can see it's custom ID, custom ID. They can see the customer table there and the cars table there. And you created the, the click on create. And it's a one to many table. And there you go. And that's how you do a relational database. Close it. You want to save it? Yes. Okay. And we've done our relational database. Now the rest is quite easy. I'm going to do another video on that. You're going to prepare a report for the database. Before you can do a report, you have to do a query. Everything, before you have to do, can do anything, you have to do the query first. Remember that. So that'll be another video. I'm going to close this one down. And just to show you how to do a relationship database, how to create the relationship. Okay.